Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back today with another video and this one is going to be a comparison between my Chanel Mini and my Chanel Wallet on a Chain. This video was requested but it had also been on my radar to do just because I feel like it's one of those, well it will hopefully be a useful reference point for anyone considering these two bags or just smaller Chanel bags in general. I think these two are the smallest ones that Chanel does. I have the square mini, not the rectangle and I believe the square mini is a tiny bit smaller. Obviously it's a different shape, um, the rectangle is a rectangle, but I think in terms of capacity it's just a tiny bit smaller. So I think these two are the smallest bags that Chanel does. So hopefully this is going to be useful if you are considering these two bags. And yeah, I'm just going to get stuck right in. So obviously I do own both bags. I did buy the Chanel Mini pre-loved and I bought the wallet on a chain uh, earlier this year at Heathrow. So I bought that from the boutique. Um, the wallet on a chain comes in this uh, kind of velvety dust bag. Uh, I think this is the only velvet dust bag I have, although I'm not 100% sure on that. My Chanel Mini just comes in this um, kind of cottony drawstring bag. They do both have their boxes, but I didn't really see any point in showing those. Um, so I'm going to show you the Mini first. I have done a whole video on the Mini, so I will link that below if you're interested um, in seeing a kind of more in-depth review um, on this bag alone. But um, this is just in the black caviar with the gold hardware and this is obviously the square size not the rectangle it's just the inside I do keep it stuffed generally and it's pretty hard wearing so I don't think I need to but I just like to I have the original tissue paper so why not for the wallet on a chain and um, this does come in all its original packaging as well um, I keep everything because I don't know, I just like Chanel packaging so I keep it all. And this is the red caviar with the silver hardware as well and on the inside you know I still have the, the white card and the little um, card keepers as well. It has the long chain right there and this is a much thinner chain than the Chanel mini. There's quite a distinct difference in terms of chain width. Um, this definitely feels more substantial, this feel, feels more like a kind of proper Chanel flap, whereas this definitely kind of, I mean it's still a heavy weight and it's still got the Chanel feel, but in terms of kind of the traditional Chanel aesthetic, this is much closer to the Chanel Mini. So in terms of price, um, this one currently retails for 1590 I believe. I think this one retails for 1250 The Heathrow price is 1050 I'm not sure what the Heathrow price of this one is. You can get these seasonally as well. They're both considered seasonal bags as opposed to classic bags. So these both are available at Heathrow. It just depends when they're in stock. Um, I do happen to know that they do, like the stores in general in the UK and I imagine the rest of the world as well, do have a very similar combination if not the same. I don't exactly know where they have the caviar but I have seen the lambskin with gold hardware in this size in Selfridges just a few days ago. So you know they have very very similar models um, if you are interested in this bag. But yeah in terms of price I mean they're not so far apart. Um, what is that? £240 I guess. This is a bit more expensive than the wallet on a chain. But in terms of the look I feel like they can both be dressed up or down. This to me is slightly more versatile in terms of the style, but I definitely think, you know, if you wanted to use this as an evening bag, you could as well. And so, I mean, you can see right here that in terms of height, they're almost identical. Like there's not really that much in it. In terms of width, it's surprising, but there's not that much in it either. The wallet on a chain is slightly wider, but I mean, there's really only a few centimeters, I think. However, the big difference is the width. This is substantially wider than the wallet on a chain. And I think you know, that's the reason it's called a wallet on a chain. What you can fit in here is really, really limited. I am gonna kind of do a little demo, but you really can fit a lot more in here. And that is, you know, it's purely because of this width right here. In terms of the chain length as well, I'm gonna measure the drop as well, because I always think that's useful for people Although I feel like this is going to be quite awkward to measure, but so the drop is, if I hold it straight, it's about 62 and a half, 63 centimeters. Whereas the drop with the mini is about 52, 52 and a half. So it's almost 10 centimeters less. And I mean, I'm going to try and kind of model it for you. So that is my Chanel Mini. And I always wear my Chanel Mini on the shoulder. 
you can wear it cross body but for me it just hits too high on the hip so to me that doesn't really look right and I am five foot seven so I am quite a bit taller if you're shorter then you definitely could Ooh. Over tape measure tangle situation. So, wallet on a chain, this fits kind of perfectly crossbody, I think. You know, it kind of hits around the, the hip butt area, and I think that's perfect. But if I wear it kind of just on the shoulder, I think that's just way too long. So that kind of hits by my thigh and you know even though I'm quite tall I just think that's way way too too long so I'm gonna kind of show you comparison so you can see I mean I, obviously you don't have a great view sorry because I, I'm too close to my camera my, my bed's in the way but you can see I mean this kind of looks great on the shoulder this is a bit too long but then you know if you want to do it cross body then you just see, I mean, that's just a bit too short, whereas this is kind of perfect. So as I said, it really does depend on how you want to wear the bags, and I guess also it depends on your height. So for the wallet on chain, if it is too long for you and you do want to wear it on the shoulder or even kind of um, as a short shoulder option, you can do the kind of loop effect. Um, and I'm sure if you're interested in this bag and you see many people do it, but you can effectively just loop the bag around like that. And that does make it considerably shorter. So that definitely is an option. And so for that reason, the wallet on chain is slightly more versatile in terms of the, the length. However, I don't really like to do that because for me then, none of the chain options are exactly perfect, so I really do prefer this as a crossbody bag, and because of that, for me, it's much more of a casual bag. I wouldn't really wear a crossbody bag when I'm really kind of dressed up or going out to dinner or anything like that. For me, the crossbody style is a slightly more casual style, and I just prefer when I'm going out just to have the bag on my shoulder. So for that reason, I wouldn't wear this on the shoulder. But this one, however, is perfect. Similarly though, I wouldn't ever wear this crossbody. I'm not the biggest fan of crossbody bags in general though, so that is something to keep in mind. And if you are, you know, a lot more petite than me, then, you know, definitely this could be an option for you if you want to wear it crossbody. And also, even if you don't mind it sitting a bit higher, you could wear this crossbody as well. So in terms of what fits in the bags, I'm gonna kind of see how much stuff I can pile in each one. I have already done a what's in my bag with my Chanel mini, so I'm gonna try and go through that one really quickly. Um, but in terms of my wallet on a chain, I'm gonna take the white card out. Um, I am gonna leave all the other cards in there just because it's gonna be the same size as normal credit cards. But my essentials would include a phone, and this is the iPhone 6. Actually, I'm going to put that in the front pocket because that could definitely fit in there and I feel like that's something you'd be likely to do. And then I do have my um, Zippy coin purse, which is um, from Louis Vuitton. And so if I try and put that in there, I mean, it technically could fit. And it does actually fit, but the only thing then is that's kind of stretched out a little bit so it's definitely bulked that out not in a way that it would really distort it so I mean you could definitely do that and I'm gonna go ahead and see what else I can fit in here with the wallet in as it is these are my keys these are quite bulky keys so I have a lip balm I have um, a waitrose loyalty card I have fobs and everything and then I have a little Hello Kitty um, keychain that I got from Vegas so these are bulky keys I'm going to try and fit those in. They just about fit in there. I'm going to try and squeeze in a lipstick and um, a travel card. No, it's a, it's just a card holder, but I use it as a travel card holder. And so I'm actually going to put that in the, in the front there. And that's really too much for the bag. Like, I could maybe manage to close that, but it's going to really distort the bag, so... Not that I would, but I'm going to take my travel card out, see if that makes a difference. Okay, that does, you can fit that in, but I don't know if you can see, but that has completely distorted the side shape. So that's the keys, unfortunately. So I wouldn't ever go out with my keys, without my keys, sorry. So I'm just going to go ahead and take out the zippy coin purse. 
And instead I'm gonna swap that out for um, a, just a key pouch, again from Louis Vuitton, to see if that's gonna make any difference to how well this fits in. See, it's the keys, that's the problem. <laughs> And nope, that's a no as well. You can't really fit that in. So I'm just gonna take out the key pouch and then put back my key card, key card holder in there. My key card holder, that's not, my card holder. And so I'm just gonna kind of juggle these around. And yeah, that's a much better fit. And I mean, it is, it has widened out a bit and it, the shape isn't perfect, but you know, it, it's doable, it's workable. So that's how much kind of fits in there. So I just have really not that much. So I have my, my keys, my lipstick, and my card holder, and presumably I would put my credit cards in there. And then I also have my, my phone as well. So not a huge amount, and to be honest, that's why I don't reach for this bag that much. You know, Obviously, if I had smaller keys, then they would fit a lot better in there. I could probably fit more, but, you know, I, I like having these things on my keys, so I don't really kind of want to swap those out just for one bag. So, in terms of what fits in the Chanel Mini, I know for a fact this does fit a lot more because I've used it quite a bit. And so I'm going to take the tissue paper out, and I'm going to do the same as before, and I'm just going to try and fit in my Zippy coin purse, which I know fits fits really well and then I'm going to put my other essential which is my phone and that fits really really well as well I'm going to put my card holder right in there again another good fit and I'm also going to put a compact in there and um, this is just a blusher one but I, I tend to reach for this because um, it has a mirror so I'm kind of going to stick that in there going to put my lipstick in as well, I'm just going to slot that in and then finally I'm going to put my keys in there as well and all of those things fit very very neatly with kind of room to spare, I could definitely fit more in there so if I wanted to put a mini hairbrush as I often do or my sunglasses, I'm not sure whether my sunglasses would fit actually, um, let me get a pair. So here are um, my new Dolce sunglasses so I'm going to try and fit these in. and jiggle everything about to see if it's gonna fit. No, that, I mean, you could if you really forced it, but I'm kind of scared I'm damaging my sunglasses, so it could technically, and if you had smaller keys, you probably could, but otherwise, you could fit a few more bits and pieces in there, whatever you really want to take with you. So really, everything that I would want to take with me for a day out or a night out, you can fit in there. The same cannot be said for the Walt on a chain unfortunately so in terms of capacity this can definitely fit a lot more than the wallet on a chain um, and that's purely because of the width uh, or sorry the depth of the bag if you have lots of kind of slim elements you know if your keys don't have any keychains and you know if you really prefer key pouches really skinny ones and you probably could get away with the wallet on a chain but if you're like me and you have quite a few bulky things then um yeah, the, the mini would definitely probably be more suited to you in terms of capacity. In terms of the structure of the bags, so this is just the kind of mini square version of the classic flat bag. It has the pocket on the back, the classic turn lock, and it doesn't have any pocket on there, and it's just kind of plain on the flap. Um, it has Chanel Paris written right there. And then on the inside, it's just, you know, pretty pretty plain you just have the zip pocket right there and then you have another little flat pocket right there which isn't sealed and you have um chanel made in france just stamped right there so you know very very simple inside the quilts are carried through to the bottom as well and then for the wallet on a chain again you do have the classic quilting all over with the pocket on the back the quilting is not carried through and this opens up with a button closure as opposed to the turn lock. So for that reason, I do find that the mini is a bit easier to get in and out of quickly just because when it comes to closing this, I kind of have to fiddle around a little bit just to get the button closure to kind of fit just so. Whereas the turn lock, it's a lot easier because it's a lot bigger. So you have one pocket right there, which is also where the serial number is, um, the serial sticker, it's just right there. You have um, a zip pocket right there, which is, 
fairly substantial. Um, you also have a little flap pocket right there. So there are quite a few little compartments. I mean, that's three just there. One, two, three. Um, this one is made in Italy as well. I can see the little, the little stamp right there. And then you just have the main compartment here with all the little card slots. And there are six card slots. And then you have a zip right there so you have many more compartments with the wallet on a chain um, but you can fit quite a bit less in there <laughs> so in terms of quality I do think that they're both pretty equal this does feel slightly more heavyweight just because of the chain but they still do seem you know really really wonderful Chanel quality as you'd expect you know all the stitching is lovely and the quilting looks great so I don't think there's really a big difference in terms of value for money in that sense I think the value for money comes in with the functionality and how often you're going to use it uh, caviar for me for the mini was a no-brainer uh, just because I knew I was going to use it a lot and I'm a big fan of caviar in general General. Um, if I was going to get another one, which I do hope to do at some point in the future in a brighter colour, then I think I am going to opt for lambskin just because as this kind of second option, as a second mini option, I think that lambskin, you know, it won't get as much wear and I think in a pop of colour that just looks really, really beautiful and really luxurious. Um, but I'm definitely glad I got the caviar for my first mini. Uh, I took this on holiday recently and it did kind of get beat around a bit. It was really hot there and it still looks absolutely fantastic. Brand new, well not brand new, but I mean almost. It just looks really great. You just can't see any wear on it. So definitely consider the caviar um, if you are getting your very first Chanel Mini. In terms of the wallet on a chain, I did actually buy this originally in the lambskin and I exchanged it just because it had a little spot on it so I wanted to get a new one. Um, but then when I went to the Chanel boutique, uh, I think it was New Bond Street I went to, after going to Heathrow they let me exchange it in uh, New Bond Street. All the reds just looked a bit off to me, they were a bit orangey and they just didn't look quite right so I ended up going for the caviar instead which um, I did like the red, um, I think it's a beautiful kind of deeper red and I am glad particularly because I do mostly use it as a crossbody so I don't have to worry about kind of colour transfer with jeans um, or kind of rubbing or anything like that uh, and you know caviar is obviously very very hard wearing. The only thing I would say is that because I don't use this that much I might want to utilise it more as a kind of evening clutch bag just like this without the without the chains so you know, just with them tucked in but because it's caviar I don't think it lends itself that well to it I think it would look much more luxurious and much prettier um, if it was in lambskin so that's just something to kind of consider uh, if you're thinking about whether to go for lambskin or for caviar uh, in the wallet on chain what you're going to use for if you do want it to double as a kind of evening bag then you know maybe go for lambskin I have seen reviews of these bags or these wallets um in slightly older versions when they are lambskin and they hold it pretty well obviously not quite as well as caviar but that's just the nature of the material but I still think they're a great option so I'm kind of ambivalent as to whether you know caviar or lambskin is the right call for this particular bag I'm much more convinced that caviar is absolutely the right way to go for the mini but for the wallet on chain I don't think it matters as much unless you have an exact idea of what you want to use it for i.e. just casually crossbody in which case caviar or you know if you want to use it as a clutch in which case I think lambskin is a really good option so in terms of which bag I prefer, it's definitely going to be the mini, and that's for two reasons. A, the size and the capacity. It can just fit a lot more than the wallet on a chain, and for that reason I just find myself reaching for this. When, you know, a bag is so small it can't even fit my keys with, you know, my keychains, then that's kind of an issue for me. So I do reach for this a lot more, but also because of the chain length, I find this much more suitable for me. I do like to wear this bag on the shoulder, and I think I would like to wear this on the shoulder as well, but as I said, it just drops a bit too low for me and kind of looped over it's a bit too high so for me the only option really is to use this as a crossbody which I'm just not that big of a fan of and I just don't tend to gravitate towards that kind of style when I'm dressing myself so for that reason I definitely do prefer the Chanel Mini. Obviously that's a very kind of personal choice for me, the fact that I don't really like crossbody and the fact that I do like to carry it a lot with me. Um, this is really surprising I think in terms of how much it can hold, it's really just such a dark horse I think, whereas this was surprising to me in the sense that it really couldn't hold that much. That said, I have seen these bags a ton. I've seen this bag a lot more than this bag just out on the street. And loads of women really seem to like them. You know, they just seem very kind of carefree, crossbody, just very chic. And it just looks like a great little bag on them. 
for me it just isn't seem to be working that well. I am, you know, still giving it a go and I do kind of bring it out every now and then and um, I do kind of want to try it as a clutch even though it is caviar. So, you know, I'm not giving up on it yet. I do still really like it and I love the look on other people. I think it's really, really chic, especially. I really like the black with the gold hardware in this, um, in the style. I think it looks really, really good. I guess I like black with gold hardware no matter what style, but I just think in the wallet on chain it just looks very, very classic. Um, whereas the mini, I mean, you guys will know if you kind of watch my review, but this kind of has stolen my heart. So if you are like me and you know, you do like to carry quite a few things and you're perhaps a bit on the taller side and you're debating between these two, this would be a no-brainer for me. It's definitely worth the bit of extra money, especially if you can track them down. They are very, very popular, so it is kind of difficult, but um, this I definitely wouldn't be without. Whereas this one I'm still kind of not sure about. I'm hoping I'm going to grow to love it a bit more and I definitely do see the value of it, but yeah, the jury is out in terms of whether this is going to be an absolute permanent fixture in my collection, um, whereas the mini I definitely would not give up for the world. So that's it for this video guys, I hope that you found it helpful and hopefully you didn't think I was too biased towards my mini, obviously I really do like it, but I just tried to kind of give an honest opinion about which bag I preferred and the reasons why. If you do have any questions at all, please do leave me a comment um, in the section below and I will definitely get back to you. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, please do like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!